Research studies have confirmed that yoga can be useful in preventing or at least managing several of our health problems such as depression, heart ailments, diabetes, arthritis, obesity, and so on. Have you ever wondered how yoga achieves all these wonderful things? How does it actually work? Many people may not even care how yoga works, but it does matter to know. If you know how yoga actually works, you can practice yoga in the correct way. Doing it right means you can reap all its benefits, and to the fullest possible level. There are reports of harmful side effects of yoga. These are generally caused due to wrong practice of yoga and in many cases lack of clarity on what you want to achieve versus which process of yoga can actually deliver it to you. If you know how yoga works, you can do it knowingly and avoid harmful effects and get right where you want to. And last but not the least, you can achieve results faster by not unnecessarily wasting time on wrong way of doing things. Now that we know that it is important to know how yoga works, how does it actually work? The great sage Patanjali propounded the yoga way back in 200 BC. What does he have to say about how yoga works? In the very beginning of his Yoga Sutra, the father of yoga says, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodha Yoga is the process of calming down the activities of the mind. Yoga is a completely mind-oriented system. This system has eight steps. By systematically practicing these eight steps one by one, the yoga practitioner gradually modulates the mental processes and moves the mind from a near chaotic state to a completely calm state. It is the mind that is behind all our physical, emotional as well as spiritual problems. And by calming down the mind we can achieve health, success in life, enjoy everlasting happiness and finally, attain the ultimate self-realization. Let us see these eight steps a bit more in detail. These eight steps are Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. We often go through periods of stress in our minds. In the worst case, our minds can be completely chaotic. After you practice the first two steps of yoga and internalize them into your way of life, most of the chaos in your mind comes down and you move to a nearly stress-free mind. But you may still have problems focusing on your chosen profession. When you regularly practice the next two steps of yoga, you not only become healthy but also will have a better capability to focus on your job. Higher you go up the yoga ladder and climb two more steps you would have a completely focused mind. If you continue to practice yoga with this focused mind, which is the penultimate step of yoga, you go through a series of experiences of complete freedom from stress, unexplainable joy, and a glimpse of that which is beyond imagination. The culminating stage of these series of experiences is a sudden vanishing of assumed identities and a total merger with a universal identity. Mind is completely calm in that state. And whatever happens is beyond mind. This is the ultimate goal of yoga. Now the important question is can we scientifically study each of these mental stages and the accompanying processes? Fortunately, the answer is yes at least to a large extent. Over the past century or so, we have made lot of progress in understanding our mind. 
We now have sophisticated gadgets such as MRI scanners, MET scanners, which can afford us to peep into the mind. It is now possible to scan the brain in various states, and even to take a video of how the brain functions internally. More recently, even optical scanners have appeared that can not only do the job of MRI scanners but also do it with minimal intervention. No more lying down inside a magnetic enclosure. All that a yogi has to do is to wear a headgear, in case you want to monitor what happens in the ultimate stages of meditation. Dr. King's highly insightful book, How and Why of Yoga and Meditation, Yoga Scientifically Explained, elaborates in great detail the complete yoga process in the most scientific manner. Among others, the book explains the complete science behind yoga in neurological terms. Neurons are the workhorses of our mind. This book goes into each of the steps of yoga, explaining the mental processes that are involved in these steps, and how they can be modulated to our advantage. To avoid pitfalls, the book elaborates on the right way of practicing each step, and cautions about mistakes. The book also broadens its outlook by discussing alternate ways of achieving the same thing, taking cues from other schools similar to yoga. Side by side the book tries to clear a lot of misconceptions related to yogic practices, and the way various steps are performed. This is very important. This book is available both in e-book format, as well in the form of printed paperbacks. There are several vendors who sell this book, and one place you can try for a preview of this book is aged http colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash dp slash b 0 0 tfs This is a must read book for all yogi enthusiasts. Grab the book that was the earliest possible opportunity. Get completely informed about all that you need to know. And dive into the yoga practice. Best of luck.